Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. <laughs> uh, what gets me is, you know, people they just, they just love to talk, love to talk, run their fingertips. But yet they don't know they don't know the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist. A psychologist is a person with just a PhD, not a PhD, not a PhD and an MD. A PhD and an MD can diagnose people and uh, also dispense medication. All a psychologist can do is just give their opinion, their educated, so called educated opinion. But that's all it is an educated opinion. It isn't really using real reasonable evidence like I have. Reasonable evidence to prove your case that someone's picking on you. Somebody's uh, bothering you. Somebody's harassing you. So they don't care about that. So they base their opinion on... Basically what the courts are saying about you. Or authorities are saying about you. They, they don't care about what you say is really going on. Their job is to basically find fault in you. And that's what this woman did. She is not a psychiatrist she is only a psychologist and uh and of course in this last page here She doesn't actually say, you know, to only, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. She doesn't really say, this is my diagnosis. She says, this is my opinion. All she can do is give her opinion. Her educated opinion. But see, a lot of people want to say, for instance, in a comment that was made recently by a so-called follower, Um, where, where I was talking about my IQ. And uh, they try to say that uh, I was giving out, uh, did I ever give out my social security number? Did I give out uh, my uh, Medicare, Medicaid number? Did I give out uh, my uh, Passwords on on YouTube? No. Mm -mm. You can find a video where I did that. More power to you. But I have never gave out any other information other than my home address and my phone number. 
So, because I have a ministry, you know, I, I would like for positive feedback. And, uh, instead, all I get is a criticism. Because people, a lot of people don't believe in the truth. They hate the truth, and they hate what I stand for. And again, uh, this person had said, the psych they said the psychiatrist, or what did they say here? Psych psychologist? No, let me see what they said here, actually. Hang on a minute. Yeah, I think they did say psychologist. Yeah. I'm looking here and what they said. Yeah, they did say the psychologist. Report was spot on. Evidenced by all of your YouTube videos. For one thing, did you see the part in my video where I showed the ticket for my ex-wife's van my 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 ex-wife's van I, my, not mine not my vehicle I didn't own it it was not in my name the license plates was not in my name it was in my ex-wife's name I told her don't be driving that van because the starter was going bad. What did she do? She didn't listen to me just like you don't listen to me. She didn't listen to me. She drove it and the starter went out on it. See, what parked in her client's wheelchair parking spot in front of her client's house. Her client even called the police and said, Hey, that's my parking spot that was put there for me. And, and, and she told him that, you know, her caregiver's van broke down and it's okay, you know, that stays there until they get fixed. But you people don't listen. That's a problem. You don't listen. You're so full of yourselves, you don't listen. The ticket was in my name. Why? Because the police didn't like me. They didn't like me because I was in REACT. From, I, I joined REACT in uh, 1984 until it disbanded in 1987. In 19... Uh, 86, I joined a, a CB radio club called uh, National CB Radio Patrol, which was um, owned by the uh, American Federation of Police out of Miami, Florida, who also has the uh, National Police Hall of Fame. But see, there was a, there's a lot of police officers, like I keep saying, that think that the badge that they have on their shirt that says that they are the law and what they say goes. And they believe that citizens should not be doing what uh, is legally right for a citizen to do. Like react going and helping people broke down on the highways. They think it's the police's job to do that. They think it's their job to do that. But you know what? The State Highway Patrol. I was friends with the State Highway, Highway Patrol. We was in an accident on State Route 36. Uh, now there's a traffic light there. Across from uh, the gas station and McDonald's in, in New Newcomers Town. 
uh, some young guys rear-ended a, a semi. And me and this ex-EMT and some other people were basically first on scene. And I have first aid kit. The ex-EMT, he um, was just passing through and he had a neck brace on. He, he did something and he really couldn't do much himself. And the other young guys were outside of the vehicle and other people were attending to them. And I was in the back seat attending to this one young guy who had hit his head on the windshield. He had a big gash on his forehead and he was having seizures. I was holding his head still so that uh, he wouldn't get any brain damage. And then they came in and, and put a neck brace on him. And then finally, you know, they took over. And, uh... But be between me and the ex-EMT, we were working with that young man that had hit his head on the windshield. Then after I got done, and then some other members of my club at the time showed up. And then we started doing traffic control. Well, this one police officer that didn't like uh, my, me and my, my group had mentioned to a State Harbor Patrol officer, they don't have the right to be here. What are they here for? And the State Harbor Patrol told that police officer, they have more right to be here than you do. A State Harbor Patrol told the police officer that we had more right to be there than the police officer did. Now why would a State Harbor Patrol tell a police officer that? Well, I can tell you for one thing, the police was out of their uh, venue. But see, they thought they had the right to go anywhere and do anything that they wanted to do. And as far as the State Harbor Patrol was concerned, we had more right going to accidents than they did. There was an accident one time uh, right on the um, get-off ramp from going north on 77, getting off at the New Kimberstown exit. A semi had flipped over, going too fast around the curve. So we had to shut down the ramp. Nobody can get off there at the New Cumberstown exit going north. They basically had to go north and then turn around and come back down. And I went, and the State Harbor Patrol commander was there at the time, along with ODOT. We're just, you know, they were staying around trying to figure out what to do. You know, and my men was up there at the highway trying to keep cars, you know, you know, so they wouldn't come down. But they were cars that were going, turning off there anyhow. Because they wasn't listening to my men who was trying to direct traffic. I went down there, I said, you know, my guys are having a hard time trying to keep these idiots from getting off. There at the exit. Is there any way that we can get an arrow board? That's one of those boards with the arrow on it. Down here to uh, help out. And the State Harbor Patrol commander and the ODOT uh, supervisor said, "Well, we can. We'll have to get one from up New Philly, but we can get one down here right away." They listened to me. They took my suggestion and they brought an arrow board down from New Philly to set up at the exit. Why? Because I had good rapport at the time with the State Harbor Patrol and the Sheriff's Department. Newcomers Town Police didn't really like me. 
They were always trying to cause trouble with me. Is that is that paranoia? No, it's not. Just just like a lot of you people on the internet. All you want to do is try to cause trouble. Because that's all you are. A bunch of troublemakers. There are a lot of people out there that are, let me tell you, they are good followers that understand what I'm saying. So, you know, when it comes to preaching lots of times I'm just preaching to the choir when it comes to um, the truth but to those who hates the truth that's what the problem that's where the problem lies and when I say my God is my avenger in first Thessalonians 4 Starting with uh, verse 3, for this is the will of God, you, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess its own vessel, which is basically his own body, in sanctification and honor, not in possession of lust, like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage, advantage excuse me, take advantage and defraud his brother in this manner because the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also forewarned you and testified for God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who is given us his Holy Spirit. And because I preach things like that, that God is my avenger. Well, yeah. Oh, that's not in the Bible. You shouldn't be preaching that kind of stuff. Well, it's right there in First Thessalonians. Well, come on now. It's right there. Open your Bible and, and, and read it. And like I have said many times, there's a lot of morons. Of course, you can't say moron anymore because uh, moron is considered offensive. Moron. A person who is notably stupid or lacking in good judgment. On, in psychology, is no longer uh, considered... Or basically, no longer technical use, and it's considered offensive. Basically, somebody that has a, a below normal or average uh, IQ, or kind of like ma mild mental retardation. Because you can't say retardation anymore. You you have to say developmental disabled. But you know, Jesus said that the people will be offended in the last days. Like I said in Matthew 24, verse 9. And then many will be offended. Well, I mean, not many, excuse me. And then, yeah, many, excuse me. Um, 
Many will be offended. I was looking somewhere else all of a sudden here. My eyes went somewhere else. And many will be offended. Many will be offended. That's what's happening today. You can't say anything unless somebody is offended. And I posted this uh, photo here of uh, Bible scripture on my ministry site. And a woman from Thailand huh, has nothing to do with, uh, her comment has nothing to do with the Bible scripture whatsoever. The Bible scripture that I had just read. She couldn't even spell Carrollton. And this news uh, feed that uh, she had posted is about some guy that found some uh, fossils in his backyard while he was doing some... Uh, uh, looked like he was doing some landscaping in his backyard. Just because he found some fossils... She's trying to uh, say that basically, I, you know, I'm like him. Of course, he, he's trying to say that the fossils prove that there was a flood that covered the entire world. Let me ask you a question. Can somebody with a below average IQ get a uh, diploma? From Mansfield Business College, and this is a real this was a real college that was in Canton, Ohio. My my certif my certificate here is on file with the Ohio Board of Regents. All you have to do is just you know well you know. Believe me, because see, one thing, that's where I had to go and get my certificate a long time ago. Because I, I didn't go to my graduation. Because I couldn't go, because at the time, you know, I was married and I had kids, I had other obligations. So I couldn't go to grad get my, you know, diploma. So I later on got it from the Board of Regents. They sent it to me in the mail. What I did get was this in the mail from the state of Ohio. And yeah, I can shoot a gun. And of course, later on, I, um, you know, I, I, I'm studying the Bible and studying for my master's degree I got my master's degree and then I got my uh, doctor of philosophy and religion which is legal and binding legal and binding I also studied and pass a course and this is uh, also this course was uh, from uh, Dr. Ed Smith. He is out of uh, Kentucky. They have a website if you want to look him up. He is a licensed uh, by the state. And then later on I went on and I earned a Diploma from the Stafford Career Institute in Psychology and Social Work. Received my received highest honors. I passed with a ninety five percent. Ninety five percent. Which is basically a B plus in the grading scale. 
Not quite an eight, but almost an eight. But still high is still considered as high. I think getting out could have been a could have been a low A A A minus A A or A minus somewhere around there. But it was round B plus to A somewhere around there. I don't have the paper with me that, to show the uh, per, how they graded. But then I went on in 2007 and start went to Met Belmont Technical College and then I graduated in 2010 with a diploma in Applied Science in Mental Health. So, you know, I... I <clears throat> Just because I preach the truth, there are many that are offended. Many are offended because I preach the truth. And then there are people that are not offended. That, that, that agree with me. And I've had some nice comments. I've had people tell me, don't stop, don't stop, you know. Don't stop preaching the truth. Keep on preaching the truth, brother. They tell me. Because they want to hear the truth. No matter how, how much many of you are offended... They still want to hear the truth. They want to hear how God is going to avenge us. There's one girl from uh, Tennessee, supposed to be a Christian, and she says, I, I'm thinking too much. You know what? Isn't that I'm thinking too much? Is the fact that uh, I'm receiving messages from the Holy Spirit. And what, am I supposed to keep silent if the Holy Spirit tells me something? Find that comment. Didn't I get my um? And then she, this woman, or whoever, who are they? But, they're going to try to sow the seed of discord, but you have Christ, and the people who watch your channel for the right reasons will see that they're being used by the enemy. We who know wins. Well, my time's almost up here on my camera. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by only through Him. Ask Jesus into your heart today and, and uh, become born again. Because you cannot see the kingdom of heaven without being born again. And not only that, you will be the winner in the end. God bless you. Have a blessed day.